Hello and welcome back to DIY My Way. Are you in the market for a landscape rake? Then you may want to consider the Everything Attachments Extreme Duty Compact Tractor Landscape Rake. If you're familiar with products from Everything Attachments, then you may be wondering why this is orange instead of yellow. Well, it so happens that Everything Attachments also makes some of their products under the Landshark brand name, and those products are in orange. This product happens to be one of the ones that's sold both as an Everything Attachments product and as a Landshark product. It is the exact same rake, just either in orange or yellow, depending on whether you buy it under the Everything Attachments brand or the Landshark brand, but the specs are exactly the same. Now, you can buy landscape rakes for a few hundred dollars, from companies like Tractor Supply, Rural King, Titan Industries, all of those and many others make inexpensive low-end rakes, but buyer beware. At those price points, they are not generally durable to hold up against heavy use. And on my property where I have rocks and limbs and uh, roots especially, uh, I was afraid that some of those lighter duty rakes just weren't gonna hold up. And as I did some my research for looking for a rake, I found that to be the case uh, when I saw several videos of some of those uh, inexpensive rakes being twisted around just because they snagged either a root or a rock. And knowing the way I was planning to use mine, I wanted something tougher, so I was willing to pay a little bit more for it. Now, I've had this rake for almost two years now, and I've certainly put it through its paces on my property. So I feel I'm in a good position to give you a thorough review of this product, its specs, how I use it, and why it might be a good value for you. First, let's cover the specs on this rake. As I mentioned, Everything Attachments also makes this same rake under their Landshark brand, with the same specs and the same pricing, so you can buy it from either website depending on what color you prefer. I put links to both of them in the video description. According to the websites, the Extreme Duty rake is made from premium A572 grade 50 laser cut steel. It is available in five, six, and seven foot wide models. The tines are made from 5 16 inch thick by 1 inch wide high quality Italian spring steel to resist breaking and bending. The tines are placed individually in laser cut holes and held in place by carriage bolts for easy replacement. There are 7 forward and 7 reverse angle settings. And my favorite feature is that it has a 24 inch offset capability simply by removing the pin and swinging the rake over to one side. I'll demonstrate both of these features shortly. There's a parking stand for easy hookup to your tractor. You can also get optional gauge wheels that control the depth of the tines. It is Category 1 Quick Hitch compatible. The rake is made in the U.S. in Conover, North Carolina, and shipping is free within 1,000 miles. The 5-foot model weighs 245 pounds and costs $174 as of the release date of this video. The 6-foot model weighs 265 pounds and costs $932 and the 7-foot model weighs 285 pounds and costs $983. I bought the 6-foot model. By the way, they'll only ship to a freight terminal or commercial business, so keep this in mind. I had mine shipped to a local business because I knew the owner. When I picked up the rake, I was pleased that it came wrapped in plastic and strapped to a pallet with steel straps. This thing is built like a tank. The three-point frame is made from one and a half inch steel bar. The offset angle plate is three eighths inch thick. And the swing arm is made from three sixteenths inch thick, three by five inch rectangular steel tubing. The tine bar angle plate is one half inch thick. And there's a balanced lift ring. The tine bar is one quarter inch thick steel and the tines are mounted in slots that allow three degrees of bend from the mounting bolts for efficient and resilient operation. But the real strength comes from the two by two square support tube and the three eighths inch thick connecting plates. This design keeps the tine bar straight and rigid. Now let me show you why I love this rake. 
Of course, you have the usual angle adjustment on the rake. There are seven forward angle settings, and seven reverse angle settings to suit the job at hand. I like to use the reverse setting for the final smoothing out of my driveway. But the killer feature for me is the seven position rake offset, which allows you to swing the rake out to one side or the other. Position like this, you can collect material from the sides and pull it toward the middle, like I do when pulling gravel from the sides of my driveway back into the drive. You can also combine these two angles for straight offset raking or swing the tine bar the other way if you want to rake material from the middle to the sides. So after almost two years of ground raking and driveway maintenance, this rake has proven its worth. By the way, the rake in combination with my box blade does an awesome job revitalizing my driveway. But if you really want to see what this rake can do, watch the Everything Attachments video on how to use the landscape rake. I have a link to it in the description. So is this rake worth it? Well, let me put it into perspective for you. The 6 foot extreme duty rake costs $932, which is certainly a big investment. But when I looked at other less expensive options like the 6 foot rake from Titan Attachments at $640, or a 6 foot county line landscape rake for $700, the build quality and features just weren't there. I also considered a Land Pride rake. The only model with similar build quality and features was their 7-foot LR3784 rake, but it's priced at $1,800 or more, so for me, the Everything Attachment rake seemed like a great value. So if you're in the market for a very rugged and reliable landscape rake, then you really should consider the Everything Attachment Extreme Duty Compact Tractor Landscape Rake, also sold under their Landshark brand if you want it in orange. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. And as always, thank you for watching.